the cult of the Blackened Moon. In the small, isolated town of Blackwood, nestled in the heart of the dense and foreboding Blackwood Forest, there was a cult. It was a cult that had existed for centuries, its origins lost in the mists of time. The townsfolk whispered about it in hushed tones, fearing the wrath of the cultists who lurked in the shadows. The cult was known as the Cult of the Blackened Moon, and its members were devoted to a dark and ancient deity that they believed resided in the heart of the forest. They worshipped the deity through rituals and sacrifices, their devotion unwavering and their faith unshakable. The story begins with a young woman named Lily, who had recently moved to Blackwood with her husband Jack. They had been drawn to the town by the promise of a new life, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. But as they settled into their new home, they began to sense a darkness lurking beneath the surface of the seemingly idyllic town. One day, while exploring the forest, Lily stumbled upon a hidden clearing. In the center of the clearing stood a large, ancient tree, its branches twisted and gnarled like the fingers of a long-dead witch. As she approached the tree, she noticed a strange symbol carved into its trunk, a symbol that she had never seen before. Intrigued, Lily decided to investigate further. She began to ask the townsfolk about the symbol, but no one seemed to know anything about it. It was as if the symbol had been erased from the town's collective memory. As Lily delved deeper into the mystery, she began to uncover the dark truth about the cult of the Blackened Moon. She discovered that the cult had been responsible for countless atrocities over the centuries, including human sacrifices and unspeakable acts of violence. Lily's investigation led her to the cult's secret lair, hidden deep within the forest. As she approached the entrance, she could hear the faint sound of chanting and the smell of incense wafting through the air. Taking a deep breath, Lily stepped inside. The lair was dimly lit, with flickering candles casting eerie shadows on the walls. In the center of the room stood a large stone altar, upon which lay a bound and gagged figure. As Lily watched in horror, the cultists began their ritual. They chanted in a language that she did not recognize, their voices rising in a crescendo of fervor and devotion. Suddenly the figure on the altar began to convulse, and a dark, ominous presence filled the room. Lily knew that she had to act fast. She crept towards the altar, her heart pounding in her chest. As she reached for the figure, a cultist turned and saw her. With a cry of rage, he lunged at her, his dagger raised high. In the ensuing struggle, Lily managed to free the figure from the altar. As they fled the lair, the cultists gave chase, their cries of anger echoing through the forest. Lily and the figure eventually made it back to town, where they sought refuge in the local church. The townsfolk, who had long been afraid of the cult, rallied around them, vowing to put an end to the darkness that had plagued their town for so long. Together they stormed the cult's lair, armed with torches and determination. The battle was fierce, but in the end, the cultists were defeated, and their dark deity was banished from the forest. As the town of Blackwood began to heal from the trauma of the cult's reign, Lily and Jack decided to stay. They knew that they could never forget the horrors they had witnessed, but they also knew that they had played a part in bringing light back to the town. And so, the cult of the Blackened Moon faded into legend, a dark chapter in the town's history that would never be forgotten. But as the years passed, the townsfolk began to whisper that, on certain nights when the moon was blackened and the forest was shrouded in darkness, they could still hear the faint echoes of the cult's chants, a haunting reminder of the darkness that had once threatened to consume them all. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.